hi everyone as i said in my last video i am back with the topic reflexes that is neurological examination this topic comes under the examination of a newborn but uh, there i mentioned only names types of reflex examination which all types we will do and the detailed examination i gave in this uh, video that is reflex examination how we will do what are the types of reflexes we will see and it is one of type of the neurological examination which is done in a part of physical examination of a newborn okay let's start the topic so first is what is this reflex what is this reflex a reflex is defined as an involuntary or automatic action that your body does in response to something uh, without even having to think about it nothing but in short we can say response to stimulus the if we stimulate something for a baby's body how it will give response that response is known as reflex uh, the examination of that reflex how the re response of a baby will be is known as reflex examination and these reflexes present at birth are in three ways that is general body reflexes facial reflexes and oral reflexes in these three types of uh, response of a body we can see the reflex examination so next is why we need to uh, do this reflex examination we came to know what is that reflex okay but uh, okay the ref reflex is response to stimulus but why we need to do this reflex examination uh, it is as i said it is type of the neurological examination and uh, uh, usually these responses to stimulus will uh, start in a baby according to different types of reflexes in gestational age only and it will disappear in after postnatal uh, in some some months according to different reflexes and this is done to uh, uh, examine the neurological status of a baby okay Uh, by reflex uh, examination we will come to know if any neurological problem uh, is present in a baby we will come to know in early stage so that we can treat the uh, problem or disorder in a early stage of life and uh, in some cases some neurological problems like cerebral palsy and neurogenic dysphagia in such conditions the reflex examination will be in low means the baby's response will not be has we accept as uh, ex expect so uh, according to the response of a baby we will come to know the neurological condition of a baby if any neurological disorder is there then we can go for further treatment so we need to do this reflex examination then types of reflexes which all type we will do the uh, examination in a baby uh, not only this 10 still many more reflex examinations are there reflexes um, which are present in a baby are there but these 10 are mainly examined in a newborn and these 10 examinations are um, main motto to uh, identify the neurological condition okay which all are those two uh, those 10 reflexes rooting reflex sucking reflex tonic neck reflex palmer grasp reflex moros reflex traction response glabellar tap stepping reflex placing reflex and parachute reflex these 10 are the uh, examination of reflex near present in a newborn baby we'll see this in a detail first one is rooting reflex this uh, reflex onset is at the time at the uh, time of 28 weeks gestation at 28 week gestation baby it will be present and uh, it will be usually present till 3 months after birth and uh, the testing how we will do a uh, procedure is you should uh, make the baby to lie on a supine position and you should move the uh, your finger from lips or mouth of a baby to cheeks so that how the baby's response will be normal response Uh, if you move the hand on a um, side of a cheeks 
automatically the baby will move that side in which side you are moving the finger that side the baby will move to grasp your finger to uh, suck or uh, take in a mouth that is the normal response of a baby in rooting reflex next one is sucking or swallowing reflex it will onset at the time of 28 weeks gestation but uh, well established will be in the time of 32 to 34 weeks of gestation okay and it will disappear around 12 months that is one year uh, of age and the procedure is uh, just keep a uh, clean finger on baby's mouth or near lips baby will start to suck your uh, finger that is known as sucking reflex by this we will come to know whether the baby can suck the nipple of a breast correctly and uh, whether the baby can swallow easily breast milk or any uh, feed like fm anything uh, artificial feed uh, the ba how the baby will swallow and how the baby will suck, suck will come to know next one is tonic neck reflex this uh, this tonic neck reflex is in types of two types that is asymmetric tonic neck reflex and symmetric tonic neck reflex what is this asymmetric tonic neck reflex in this uh, usually you will do this in a baby of two to three months you will find this reflex and uh, the procedure how we will do this is uh, make the baby to lie on a supine position and move the baby's head at one side uh, example if you move the baby to uh, head to the right side then automatically the left ex extremities right and uh, upper and uh, lower left extremities baby will move towards the upside to move your side uh, if you are moving the baby baby's head towards right then automatically the left right and leg of a baby will move upwards to turn towards you that is the uh, normal response of a baby in this reflex and it will disappear at the age of around six months the another type of tonic neck reflex is symmetric tonic neck reflex in this you can observe the um, movement of a head or a neck holding example you can examine the neck holding type of uh, examination in this in a baby uh, it will be evident between two to three months of age and um, in this how we will do uh, usually after three months or four months baby starts to elevate it it's head right uh, if you elevate the baby's head automatically the extension of head causes extension of four limbs and flexion of the hind limbs in a baby this is the normal response of symmetric tonic neck reflex in this you can see the uh, examination or the activities of a four limb and hind limb and also the neck holding you can examine in this reflex next one is palmar grasp reflex palmar reflex or grasp reflex begins at the age of 32 weeks of gestation and light touch of a palm produces reflex uh, flexion of the fingers means uh, usually how the procedure is if you give a finger in a baby's hand automatically the uh, flexion of a fingers and holding your finger will be response of a baby that is nothing but grasping reflex this will disappear uh, in uh, age between three to four months and uh, replaced by volunteer grasp at the age of 45 months um, in this in three to four months if you give your finger in a hand it will grasp but it will it can't baby can't grasp your hand hand by volunteer by itself but that volunteer grasping will come at the age of 45 months the grasping your finger or any toy is known as grasping reflex next examination is morose reflex mm, the automatic reflex present in a body is known as morose reflex that begins at the age of 28 28 weeks of gestation and uh, disappears at the age of 5 to 6 months and uh, in this child in supine with head in midline support the child's head while pulling the head to a position halfway between supine and upright sitting 
nothing but you make the baby to sleep on a supine position make the baby by holding a hand make the baby to uh, in a sitting position half way sitting position and suddenly leave a hand of a um, support that you are keeping on a head how the reflex of a baby will be <clears throat> the shoulders abduct and the elbows wrist and fingers extend subsequently the shoulder adduct and the elbows and fingers flex these will be response of a baby when you leave suddenly that is it will um, the shoulders will get abduct the elbows wrist and fingers will extend subsequently means with that the shoulders adduct and the elbows and fingers flex this will be the response of in a morose reflex next is traction response uh, the most sensitive measure of postural tone it is the most sensitive uh, postural tone and in this grasp the hands and pull the infant towards a sitting position you make the baby to lie on a supine position and pull the baby's hand towards the sitting position the normal term in infants lift the head from the surface immediately with the body when you pull the hands the baby will lift the body and head towards the sitting position if the baby's response is normal and uh, during traction the examiner should feel the infant pulling back against traction and observe flexion at the elbow knee and ankle this is the normal response of a uh, reflex the, and when attaining the sitting position the head is erect in a midline for a few seconds uh, it, this is the procedure of a traction response the, how the baby's response will be uh, when you pull the hands of a baby is known as traction response that is baby should lift the body with the he head in a midline for few seconds next examination is glabellar tap this is tapping over outer aspect of supra orbital ridge over glabella or orbital margin uh, tapping over forehead as far as hairline that is uh, in a midline of a nose that is the supra orbital ridge which we say there you should tap with your finger uh, when you tap automatically the baby will blink its eyes this is nothing but the glabellar tap response if the baby is blinking eyes normally then it is known as uh, normal sign of a baby <clears throat> in some diseases like parkinson's disease frontal lobe and uh, the frontal lobe damage will be present so the response of a baby will not be normal that we can um, identify in this examination next is walking or stepping reflex this will be present at the time of birth and it will disappear at approximate 2 to 4 months uh, the procedure is when you make the baby to stand with uh, any support at the um, baby's foot uh, when sole of a foot is pressed against the uh, uh, something touch the at that time baby tries to uh, lift its leg and step towards it is nothing but stepping reflex or walking reflex and uh, by practicing this uh, stepping reflex daily uh, you can make the baby to uh, walk uh, by its own at the age of 10 months but uh, the practicing here uh, works mainly and uh, as we walk the baby tries to step further it is nothing but stepping reflex next examination is placement examination nothing but placing examination uh, in this examination when you make the baby to stand with some uh, if the baby is when the front of the leg below the knee or the arm below the elbow is brought into contact with edge of a table child lift the limbs over the edge present at the time of birth fades away rapidly in early months of life when you make the baby's leg or below knee 
uh, if you make the babies to touch uh, something for instrument or a table automatically baby lift, will lift the uh, leg to step towards ab above the table it is the response uh, nothing but placing reflex uh, nothing but the you can see here the extremities activities and uh, reflex is readily demonstrable in the newborn and persist fa failure to elicit it at this st this stage is thought to indicate neurological abnormality this is understood right as we are no, uh, doing neurological examination if the babies fail to do this uh, reflexes then there will be something neurological abnormalities last one is parachute reflex mm, this reflex appears at the above 6 to 9 months and persists thereafter uh, af this uh, reflexes will be present at after 6 to 9 months and thereafter it will be present in a baby the procedure is when you be, uh, when you make the baby to uh, elicited by holding the child in vertical suspension and sudden lowering him to the couch when you make the baby hold and when you bend suddenly the automatically the arms and legs will extend like opening of a parachute so they mentioned it has a parachute reflex this extension of a uh, hands and legs suddenly by uh, after making the baby lowering the uh, position is known as parachute reflex absent or abnormal in children with cerebral palsy would be asymmetrical in septic hemiplegia will be present so this was the video about the examination of reflexes that is reflex examination or neurological examination as we all know this is neurological examination if we find any uh, deformities or uh, disorder in a response of a baby in reflex examination then it is understood that babies have something neurological disorders so that we can go for the treatment in early stage but if we examine in a early stage uh, hope you all getting my uh, explanation if any queries are there you can comment in a comment section box thank you